A double Arabian is a half turn backwards into a double front salto, which can be performed in either retucked, piked, or stretched position. Step 1 in learning the double Arabian is the airplane. Jump straight up, half turn to stomach. Try to twist using only your hips rather than your arms. Remember to start and land square on the line on the trampoline. Next try the airplane to handstand. A quarter turn should be performed as you reach the horizontal position. From here try to snap your heels over your head. You should complete the half turn as you reach an inverted position. Remember to keep your body squeezed tight to be able to hold the handstand. The next step is the Arabian dive roll. As you reach an inverted position and spot the floor. Duck under to your back. From here we perform the Arabian to feet. Remember to finish the half turn quickly then as you see the ground front tuck to your feet. You should have already mastered a front tuck before attempting this. The next step is practice a front one and three quarter to your back. Now add a half turn into the front one and three. This is an Arabian one and three quarter salto. Now we should practice a ball out, which is a front tuck and a quarter initiated from your back. The snap down teaches a great heel drive and allows us to get a feel for landing in double salto skills with blind landings. Specifically the double Arabian. After mastering the ball out, the double front salto should be practiced. From here all we have to do is add a half turn into a double front salto, which will give us our double Arabian. Arabians are subject to flipping slightly off axis, which could possibly cause you to turn in the second salto. To counteract this, most tumblers will set arms straight up on takeoff. And as they turn their hips, both arms will stretch out to the side creating a semi-circle path. Then grab back under the hamstring. Remember to master each step before moving on. If your airplane or Arabian dive roll are off axis, you will encounter the previously mentioned problem in the double Arabian. Never reach around the side in an Arabian, always over your head. This will cause your Arabian to travel diagonally. Notice how this athlete didn't finish his half turn quick enough in the double Arabian. To counteract this, he spreads his knees to keep from twisting or flipping off axis. Had he turned quick enough he would have been able to keep his knees together, which is extremely important for double Arabian bikes and double Arabian layouts. Thanks for watching. Remember to subscribe for more videos.